We have developed an electronic fuel injection system and used a Saito FA40A as a test engine. The aim was to make the whole system as simple as possible. A magnet in the flywheel triggers the Hall effect sensor. The signal is then processed by a microcontroller. At every second revolution, the microcontroller sends a three millisecond signal to the injector, which then injects fuel, in this case, methanol, directly into the intake manifold during the intake stroke. We used a gear pump from eBay to get around one bar of fuel pressure. Because the injector requires significantly more current than the microcontroller can supply, we triggered the injector signal indirect with a solid state relay. Then came the time to start the engine. The last video ended at this point. There was a lot of feedback on what could be improved. The feedback was clear. I should replace the solid state relay with a MOSFET and make some kind of alpha end control for the injection. Guys, you're right, but let's talk about another topic first. Some people also mentioned that the engine seems to run not that good. In this video, we dyno the engine with fuel injection and in its original state with carburetor. What do you think? Will we see a difference in performance? We measure the performance with my tried and tested dyno. A high inertia flywheel with known inertia is accelerated. The torque, power, and speed can be calculated from the angular velocity and angular acceleration. It's the same principle as a roller dyno for cars. I don't want to go into too much details. You can find details on this in my previous videos. Let's start with the original carburetor version. Now let's take a look at the measurement data. We have achieved 0.5 horsepower at 11,000 RPM and 0.36 Newton meters at 7,700 RPM. The maximum speed was 15,000 RPM. Now let's repeat the measurement, but this time with mounted electronic fuel injection. Now let's take a look at this measurement. We have achieved 0.61 horsepower at 12,800 RPM and 0.4 Newton meters at 8,900 RPM. The maximum speed was 15,300 RPM. Now let's compare the result. We were able to increase the power from 0.5 to 0.61 horsepower with the fuel injection. This is plus 22%. Torque also increased from 0.36 to 0.4 Newton meters, which is plus 11%. Yes, success, but we have to stay realistic. It's just a simple and early prototype. As you can see in the picture, everything is very improvised, big, clunky, and not optimized. I also have to find solutions for the topic of MOSFET and fuel mapping. Still a lot to do, guys. Thanks, guys, for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe.